All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Indian Wells, and it's round three action today. Uh, first day of the third round. We've got two days. Of course, every two days is one round, uh, for the at least until the quarterfinals onwards. But Sviontek Noskova. Now, when the draw came out, we saw Collins versus Sviontek potentially in the second round. We had that. It wasn't exactly the same as what we saw in Australia, but this match was also in Australia, and this one was the one that Sviontek lost in Australia. So, really interesting how the draw mirrors the Australian Open draw for Sviontek. Now, we've had so many upsets already on the women's side. We almost had two upsets yesterday on top of all the other upsets uh, with Goff and Sabalenka nearly going down, had to play tie breaks third sets. So, it's been a really sketchy event for the ladies. On the men's side, it's a little bit more straightforward. But on the women's side, everybody's in trouble. Ever since we're back and pulled out of the tournament, everybody's been in trouble. So, will Noskova do something today? That's the question. I'm a, I tend to think that Sviontek's going to win this easier than the Australian Open loss. I think it's going to be a little bit uh, better for Sviontek, better conditions. Uh, you know, she's won this before. Noskova's coming off the win against Sviontek. Maybe there's a little extra pressure, a bit of expectation that she's going to, you know, do it again. So I, I'm leaning Sviontek in this one just because of this, the court speeds. But let's go have a look at the preview because uh, when they did play in Australia, Sviontek did get off to a good start. Now, there is the draw. You can see there both the uh, seeds getting through. Georgie took out Bolter, who was in good form. And of course, uh, Noskova then took down both uh, Georgie in straights. Collins, she took out Erica on Draver. And then uh, Sviontek just absolutely whooped her off the court. Um... Man, I mean, that was just as easy as you like. Uh, winner of this match, by the way, will take on in the fourth round on Tuesday. We'll take on the winner of the keys put and sever match. So uh, potentially Keys versus Sviontek, which is, again, another nightmare because Keys has been Sviontek. And for some reason, Sviontek just keeps playing all these players that have beaten her in the last few years. All right, Lyndon Niskova. Number 29 in the world, top 30 for the first time since that Australian Open quarterfinal run. She is 19 years old from the Czech Republic. She's a 5'10 right-handed. 12 wins, 4 losses on the year. Has no titles to her name, but that will change, I'm sure of it, in uh, maybe even this year. She might get her first title. Uh, and her form has been really solid. Of course, that Australian Open quarterfinal run, beating Sviantik along the way, definitely helped, but also did pretty well a few weeks back as well. But she's playing Igor Sviantik, the world number one, who's going to stay number one. You would expect until the French, you know, there's not too many points that Sabalenka can gain in the next few months. Uh, and Sviontek, you know, she's she's the one. She's the one that uh, that everybody's going to be, well, everyone's trying to chase down. But she's the one that has the has the lead. And she's going to keep that lead, you'd expect, for a while. 22 years old from Poland. She is 5'9", right-handed. 14 wins, two losses on the year. One of those losses to this lady. Uh, one title to her name as well. That was in Doha. Uh, she won that three times in a row. And uh, 18 career titles, including winning this title two years ago, which was part of the start of that Sviontek streak where she went on and didn't lose a match for the best part of five months or four months. And uh, yeah, really, I mean, we, I don't know if we're ever going to see a Sviontek streak like that again. It was a one, might be a once, in a once in a decade sort of deal. But uh, man, she won Indian Wells. So why couldn't she do it again? 1-1 one, one is the head-to-head -head they played last year in Warsaw. It was Sviantek and Straits. And then, of course, that Australian Open upset that we saw a couple of uh, couple of months ago. And uh, first set went to Sviantek, which is interesting. First set went Sviantek, and then it was Noskova coming back, which not many players do. Not many players come back from a set down to beat, uh, to beat Sviantek. I mean, I think it was Ostapenko did it. That was about it. So... Can she do it again? Noskova, this time maybe winning the first set. That might help. But uh, how are we, chat? What's going on? Very, uh, very big day today. There's a lot of big matches today. Now, yesterday, I mean, we had a hell of a lot of big matches yesterday, too. The tournament's getting serious. But um, how are we, chat? What are we doing? How are we? The question, jerk! Um, no one's beaten Sviantek this week. Okay. So many good matches today. Yeah, there sure is. There sure is. I again, I'm still, I'm still don't understand why they haven't put any night, good night session matches on. I mean, they've got like 
Maybe they'll start doing it next week, uh, you know, next uh, during the week. But yeah, I don't know why they put all the good matches on in the day session. I mean, all the really, really good matches are on now, like this match. This match should be a night session, shouldn't it? Maybe uh, I guess this one's because they want to get the Polish, uh, the Polish crowd to be able to watch, which is fair enough. But I mean, there's a lot of matches. Actually, on the women's side, there's only this is really the only big match I think. Every other match is kind of. No, actually, Callum Sky Paulini, that's a great match too. That's coming up in a few hours. But on the men's side, I mean, all the good matches are during the day, and the only the night match is uh, Shelton, which is good, but also, I mean, Zvera Greek Sport is a great match. That's technically at night. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what they did with the schedule today. Uh, Shriantek prefers playing the day. Yeah, but against Noskobo, who's a big hitter, you would expect, oh, I would have thought she would have rather played her at night. But we all know that the major tournaments are, it's kind of like, it goes, all right, we're going to put the schedule out. Let's ask. First, we've got to ask Tennis Channel if they're okay with it, and then we'll ask the players. So it's sort of, it's weird how that goes. How this, the, you know, it seems like the broadcasters are the ones who decide wh who plays where uh, instead of the players, which, you know, should kind of be the other way around. The players want to play where they want to play, especially the big names. If they want to play when they, you know, during the day, then they play during the day. If they don't want to play during the day, they play when they want. And then you have to schedule the broadcast. But look, two, two Europeans, why would they play at two in the morning Poland time, right? So it makes, it makes sense, I guess, but it doesn't mean I have to like it. <laughs> Doesn't mean I have to uh, accept it. Uh, Cam, how do you uh, how do you accept the need of a slice backhand in these core conditions? If so, how do you counter it? What do you mean? How do you accept the need? I, I'm, asking, I'm confused. How early is it in California? I think it's uh, daylight savings. By the way, is kicked in, right? So what's the uh, what's the time in California? Isn't it like 11 a.m. Hour early. I won't be able to watch stuff because I'm traveling. That's alright. You can watch the replay. By the way, not many people in the crowd just yet. Um, I'm always missing... I'm always missing... Hello. What's up, uh, Joanne? How you doing? Yeah, daylight saving kicked in. So it's, it's 5am here. It's, uh, it's come back. Uh, Cam, when you when are you going to refund my money, you, uh, you scammer? That's funny. If you want to go, like I said, oh, you weren't here the other day. Um, if you donated and it didn't come through, you can always ask YouTube. And they'll charge you back. You can go for it. Bo, I didn't... I th I, are you the same person that I refunded a donation before? If you donated and you're not happy, you can get a refund. Ask, ask YouTube. They'll give you back. That's no problem. Um, is that way the match is starting in an hour earlier in some countries? Yeah, so in, in America, everything's, I guess, daylight savings has kicked in, so it doesn't matter. But everywhere else, it's like a different, like it's an hour earlier. I think it's an hour early. Well, it's an hour early for me. It might be an hour early for Europe as well. I don't know. What's the time? Is it an hour early in Europe, chat? I think it's an hour early in Europe too, right? Runa Musetti could be hilarious if Musetti doesn't roll over and give up. It could be It could be really good. Like, it, Obviously, we make jokes about Musetti because he doesn't win much. But if Musetti plays well and Runa plays really like as, as well as he can, that match could be a banger. Like... If their talents are are, are are at a full at full, it's gonna be insane that match. One hour early in Europe as well. There you go. There you go. It used to start it was starting at seven, now it starts at six. Okay. So it's an hour early for everybody else. Also are the Oscars on today? Aren't the Oscars on or something? Keep us up to date with that, even though I have no idea about any of that. <laughs> go Killian Murphy. I guess. So, he's cool. Piggy Blinders. I love that show. All right. Players on court ready to go. Oh, chat. It's feel, it feels real now. It feels real. Oppenheimer. That's it. Robert Downey Jr. Let's go. Ah, DJ. We love him. Cam, I want to watch 
your channel more, but I haven't got what to watch ch uh, tennis on multiple screens much this season. That's all right, Richard. That's all right. If you can watch the tennis, I mean, you don't need to watch me. Uh, don't bother with the Oscars because it's too late for me. Okay. Uh, eager and straight set. She's a boss. Yeah, I... I just like we saw with Collins, I think Sviantek's going to do... not the, Maybe not the same. Maybe it'll be a bit closer. But I think Sviantek... I think Sviantek wins in straights. Just because the courts are slower. And Noskov is not going to be able to get that same power. An effective power that she did against Sviantek in Australia. I think that the, the court speed's going to help Sviantek a lot. And I reckon that... Uh, just like Collins wasn't able to get the same groove going in, in Australia. I think that Noskov is also going to have... Uh, also, is going to have to uh, have a bit of trouble with that today. Got work tomorrow? Oh, that sucks. Yeah, today's a day off in Australia. It's uh, Labor Day. I don't know what that means, but I'm working, so obviously <laughs> that doesn't, doesn't apply. I don't think I get any holidays. I get holidays when everyone's at work, so that that's fun. Your commentary while watching tennis is what we need. Tennis commentary is terrible. No worries, Tristan. Thank you. I will say this, and I don't want to. I don't want to shit on anyone, but I don't even know who it was. But I did watch some highlights of the Sabalenka match. At the end of that match, when she saved the match points and she hit that great passing shot to break, at the end of that uh, end of that third set, I was listening to the commentary on WTA TV, uh, tennis uh, or TV. It was it, 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 the tennis commentary sometimes doesn't fit. I don't know who it was. And they were doing a great job. Maybe they was just like late and not tired. But it just didn't fit the moment. It was way too like... It just, I don't know. Maybe I'm a little too much. But it just felt like it didn't have enough... It wasn't enough. Like that moment it was a huge backhand winner after saving three match points. I mean, that is crazy. And then it was just kind of like, she did it. What a, she hit the backhand, and you're just kind of like, oh, man, give me something. you got to give me something more. Get out of your chair, you know? Get up. But hey. Yeah, it just was lacking a little bit of oomph. That's it, yeah. I don't know what... I, this was a little flat. I was like, God, come on. It was bigger than that. I'm not saying, you know, run around the room like a psycho like me, but, you know, just a little... Give us, you know, I know, I know tennis is like, you know, at times, you know, it's a little bit, it's a little bit, uh, you know, reserved. But man, that was a, that moment. She saves four match points. She hits a backhand winner, breaks back. And it just, I was just like, man, because I was, I was like, well, go watch the commentary. I was <laughs> doing laps. I was just, I was just like, ah, bummer, like that. But then again, maybe you know, maybe it was just late, tired or something. I don't know. Tennis commentary should, uh, should be like Saudi or Latino commentators. I mean, there's obviously a line you don't want to, you know, be too much. But that moment, it was just like, oh man, like that, that deserved a bit of a, a bit of a yell, you know. Uh, like golf commentary, yeah, it's a little, it's a little reserved. But that's just my taste. Maybe you got, maybe some of you are like, yeah, look, I don't mind that. I think that's fine. But um, I was just like, man, I just missed chance. It was such a great moment, and it was just like, just it was just too quiet. <laughs> Tennis is vanilla, has been since it began. Yeah, well, that's that's a shame. Well, we're gonna change that. Don't worry, chat. We're gonna change that. Tennis is not vanilla. Well, at least... <laughs> I'm not going to let it be vanilla here. Unless it's boring, and then I'll tell it it's shit. You know? <laughs> it'll be vanilla. It won't be vanilla. It'll be the other way. <laughs> but yeah, I don't, yeah, again, I don't want to like... you know. I was just like, man, that's such... I was just a little disappointed. I was like, oh, that was such a good shot. And it was like... But it didn't sound like it was a good shot. It was like, oh, is that... If somebody new was watching tennis and they saw that point, they'd be like, oh, that must be just be normal. I'm like, no, that was insane. It was a crazy comeback from Sabalenka. Uh, so many good matches today. 
Struff versus Sinner, Elkris FAA, I'm so excited. Yeah, I mean, Struff Sinner could be epic, but also it could be a bit of a flop because, you know, Sinner, right? He's so good. Uh, but I really, um, I think FAA and Elkaraz, that's that's an interesting one because FAA has a good record against uh, Carlos. You're not Vanilla Cam, that's why we watch your channel because of the enthusiasm? Thank you. Well, I hope so. The day, I come, the day I'm Vanilla is the day I probably need to go get a real job. Worst one of the X players who talk about how they should feel and not talk about the match, though. Yeah, uh, look, I, I like the X players' insights. They're, they're great. Because you, you're never going to... I mean, they're the ones who know the best, right? What happened to Hubie yesterday? Apparently he had an injury at the end of uh, end of that match. It's a bit of a shame. Uh, Sin is coming on like ages away, so we don't have to do a double header at all. All right, chat. Big day. Big, big, big day. All the big names are playing. There's no one in the crowd. What the f hell is going on? Maybe Daylight Savings ruined everyone's day. Maybe they set their alarms like, oh shit, the dead has started. All right, who's going to win, chat? I'm going to go Shviontek and straights. He's got a backhand return from Noskova into the Fornish Shviontek. That's a great shot. Noskova can't get that. Shviontek hits a winner to start. Here we go. Shviontek starts with a bang. 15 love. Yeah, Monfils apparently was on fire too. I mean, Lamont is a beast. All right, serve. Here's a fault. Second serve. Second serve, Fiontek. Into the back end, Noska. Every turn goes short in the front of Fiontek and hits another winner. Two winners at two points. 30 love. On tech, off to a flying start. 30 love. Uh, she serves again, Shri on tech. Out wide, the front of Noskova. Return goes down the line to the back of Shri on tech. Back end of Noskova. Into the back end of Shri on tech. Down the middle to the front of Noskova. Uh, Shri on tech's back end goes again to the back end of Noskova, who goes down the line for a winner. Oh, ho, ho, ho. okay. 30-15. Noskova can hit winners too. We love that. 30-15. <laughs> oh, chat. That's the start. 30-15. As Fiontek serves again. That's a fault. Second serve. By the way, Vilch and Marijan are taking, uh, taking the court. Let's go, Vilch. Well, Marijan and Alcaraz is probably a better matchup, to be honest. As we serve now, the backhand of Noskova hit the tape and goes wide. On the return, 40-15. Shviontek to win the first game of this one. But Diminor coming up later. Like I said, Kellen Sky Paolini rematch at Dubai. Really fun matchup. A lot of doubles coming on today as well. Pagula and Goff are playing doubles right now. All right, 40-15. First serve is a fault from Shviontek. Second serve. And then we'll go through the uh, players on the on the women's side that have dropped out or fallen, uh, you know, lost because it's it's pretty, pretty bad. On the men's side, no one's lost, which is uh, standard, I guess. As it a back in Shviontek, Noskova gets there with a lob. Goes in. Shviontek retreats to the baseline. Back in a backhand. Another one from Shviontek into the back end of Noskova. Who goes down the line. Shviontek with a forehand on the stretch. Noskova. Cross court again. Shviontek gets it. Noskova goes again to the Fornish Fiontek. And Shviontek gets it wide. 40 30. Cam was right about Medi. So no members. <laughs> I didn't think anyone would say. <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't, I... I'm like, no members. What about the members? Yeah. Um... Yeah. I told you that that match was going to be a flop. It wasn't boring, though. There was an exciting part in the second set when uh, when the lights went out, or the lights were flickering, and they had like, a 20-minute delay. Back in now to the front of Noskova. 40-30 as Noskova overhits it. Shviontek, one love. Um, yeah. It was three. It was two and three. I mean, I mean I'm not like... Look, that wasn't my best prediction. It was pretty, pretty standard, to be honest. Medi beats up a clay quarter on a hard court. Okay. 
But there were the lights were. I think it was like a four three in the second. Apparently the lights weren't being weird. By the way, they got the lights on here. Is it are the lights on or is it just a sun reflection? Maybe that's what it is. You look refreshed today. I'm tired. I'm not going to lie today. I feel tired today, just because uh, the the earlier start, the one extra hour, the one hour earlier. I'm I'm going to get used to that. I was just getting used to the. Uh, the 5 a.m. starts, and now I've got to get used to the 4 a.m. starts. So it's a little... I'll get there. It's a little... Uh... <laughs> it is what it is. All right. Nice give it to serve. One love. Will Count's guy take vengeance or Pellini? Yeah, it's going to be... That's going to be an interesting matchup. Welcome to Nor the North American change. Yeah. Yes, indeed. By the way, Chad, we've only got three top ten, uh, four top ten players left in this uh, in this women's draw, and three of those players almost lost yesterday. So the three three of the four that are left almost lost. Sabalenka, Goff, Zachary, the only three left outside of this uh, match, and three of those players had to play three setters. Two of them had to play tie breaks. As we're going to find out from Shviontek down the line, Nozka with a slice up goes a lob, but it's long. Love fifteen. So yesterday, we lost Pagula, we lost Vondi because she withdrew. Uh, we also lost Zhang last night, which is a shame. Obviously, uh, Rabakina withdrew before the tournament uh, begun. And uh, Jabur and Ostapenko also went down. So a lot of losses. But we do have players outside the top 10, like Kazakina, Hadaj Maya, Paolini, you know, 11, 12, 13. Svetlina, 16. So there are still some names. You've got Garcia, you've got Keys, you know, Pavlia Chenkova. You know, all Grand Slam um, or former top 10 or Grand Slam finalists. As we're a double fault, Noskova. Love 30. Hey, it's uh, the Buxa. The, the you know, Buxa. Buxa. You know, the um, Spanish player. She's watching. Why is she watching? Is she playing doubles with somebody, maybe? Maybe doubles with uh, Noskova or something? No, Noskova played with Vondi. Okay. Just, just there to watch uh, Sviantek. Anyways, in the net from Sviantek on the return. 15.30. And no doubt, the person next to her is, is her mum, and they're a spinning image. They were, that was a spinning image. They were the exact same person, except one had shorter hair. 15.30. First serve is a fault from Noska, a second serve. Second serve. The double fault, wow. There. Two double faults. And it's break points for Yontek. 1540. Back to back double faults. Apparently, uh, Vondi withdrew for personal reasons. Oh, that's a shame. Hopefully, it's nothing serious. All right, 1540. Is Nons going to hit the drop shot? If Yontek can't get it. 3040. Good save. 3040. Lovely drop shot there from Noskova. 30-40. Serve out wise and ace. Woo. All right. Good save. We get to deuce. Maybe Emma can bagel Sabalenka. Who knows? That's going to be such a... If that's not a night session match tomorrow, I am going to... Still watch it. But also, uh, that is crazy. That's not a night session. If that's not tomorrow night, that is brutal. But then again, if it's not tomorrow night, it's because the British, you know, Sky Sports got in their ear. <laughs> Sky Sports are like, no, 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 put that on first so we can watch it so we don't have to stay up late. Second serve in the backhand of Sviantek. Backhand again to the back of Noskova. Into the fauna Sviantek as Sviantek overhits it and it's advantage Noskova. That match has to be on. Sabalenka defending finals versus Raducanu, the the princess of tennis, of British tennis. Advantage, Noskova. First serve is a fault. Second serve. Noskova to get on the board here and just hold serve. After a couple of break points, it's going to be a 4 now to the back of the Sviantek. 4-9 on the stretch. 
Goes down the line, great shot, Shvianzik on the dig. Gets it with the backhand, Nozka becomes the net, Shvianzik with the pass, Nozka volleys. Oh, what a pickup! This is gonna be on Venice TV. Nozka! After a little bit of nerves, she holds. Hell of a shot. What a volley, okay. 1-1. One, one. Good save. 1-1. One, one. By the way, we do have men's matches too. Steph and Tiafo are playing. City pass up one love already. Very interesting matchup, that one. It could be an epic. It could be a... I mean, City Pass hasn't always done well here. Um, and Tiafo has. He's made the final, well, it's two semi-final last year. So, I mean, there's definitely uh, an opportunity there for both to get a good win against one, one another. As we had another drop shot in Oscar. Wow, she is the drop shot queen right now. Love 15. What a shot. Can Tiafo pull the upset? I think... I was, I don't know if Tiafo has a three, is this a three, two record against Steph, like a winning record, which is kind of unexpected. Maybe I read that wrong. Uh, love 15. Serving the four to Noskova, return the four to Sviantek. Noskova gets the point, Sviantek over hits it. Sviantek panicked a little bit on that shot. Love 30. That's what Shviontek can't do today. If Noskova starts hitting winners, Shviontek isn't, shouldn't panic. Otherwise, she's going to make errors like that. Love 30. Serving the back end of Noskova. Back end of Shviontek. To the back end of Noskova. Who hits a winner down the line. Oh no. Love 40. Shviontek's got that. Oh no. Australian Open rematch look. Oh no. She looks at the coaches like, oh no. <laughs> Hey, you he said she wouldn't do this. Love 40. Chance to break. Fiance with a serve. Into the back of Noskova. Return the phone to Fiance. Great shot. Noskova gets it, but it's wide. 15 40. Still break points here for Noskova. 15, 40. What's Steph ranking now outside the top 10, right? Yeah, he's... Yeah, number 11. Number 11. Uh, 15, 40. Should be on tech. Still under pressure. Serve. He's a fault. Second serve. Second serve in the back of Noskova. Good return. Shviontek gets it with the forehand. Into the forehand of Noskova. To the forehand of Shviontek. Who hits it wide. Break to Noskova. 2-1. First set. And Shviontek just, again, making errors because of the panic she feels when Noskova is hitting, er hitting winners off her racket. Shviontek's got to relax. She's got to construct the points better. Okay. Noskova breaks. 2-1. First set. How are we doing, chat? Will you answer my question? Can you answer my question, please? I don't think Eagle will have much of a issue to break back. Yeah, well, I assume that with the uh, with the slower court, that Shviontek would have more time to... I mean, she, look, she's hit a couple of good winners. Nice cover, but Shviontek's just rushing... Yeah, she's rushing the ball. She's trying to hit winners off the second, third shot. Why do I keep changing color? Anyone else see that? I go from Oompa Loompa to a ghost. I mean, what, what's going on? Is there a, what's happening? <laughs> Why my camera's just playing tricks on me? Um, maybe it's my eyes. Maybe I didn't, maybe it was just me. Happy Labor Day, Cam. I have no idea what Labor Day is. Something to do with work, I think. Labor Day is the second Monday of every of March every year. It has its origins of the eight hour day movement, which advocated for eight hour work days. God, I mean, uh, so wait, I gotta work eight hours today? Otherwise, I don't. Eight hours? I don't, I work. <laughs> I only work three. Um, and then 16. <laughs> it's because you're a vampire camp? I am not. No, I'm not. 
Why do they give the worst outfits to Tiafo? Because he's the only one who can pull them off. He's the only one. Ah, 2-1. Nice couple of breaks. Just after Sviantek had a couple of break points. Serving the forehand of Sviantek. Sviantek gets it wide. On the return, 15 love. Steph breaks Tiafo. Nice. What are my views on this match? Well, 20 minutes ago, I said that Sviantek, because of the slower courts, would be better. But then we, we do have to factor in the slow start. Remember, Sviantek does have slow starts. So we'll, we'll see whether or not this is one of those. 15 love. As we do a turn now, Sviantek, that goes out. 30 love. Also, nods give a serve. That was something that was huge in Australia. If she hits a good serve, that'll put pressure on Sviantek's serve, which is not her strongest shot. Hey, what's up, Peter? How you doing? 30 love. 30 love. Nods give a serves again. Down the the back of Sviantek. Return the back of Nods give up. Ash Fiontek's backhand goes in the net. 40 love. Noskova for the 3-1 lead. Forty love. Noskova with a serve. Into the forehand of Fiontek. Great return. Noskova gets there with a forehand deep into the back of Fiontek. Again, the forehand of Noskova. Who hits it in the net? 40-15. Forty fifteen, and I was uh, like, again, maybe Sviantek wanted to play during the day, but I would have thought if Sviantek had her had her way, she would have wanted to play this at night. As Nosko serves an ace, because at night, especially at Indian Wells, the day sessions are warm and hot, the night sessions are cold and slow, because when it's cold. It, the ball doesn't travel through the air as fast, right? So you would have thought that the conditions being like first thing in the morning, maybe maybe it's cooler first thing in the morning, but I would have thought night session against someone that can hit a big ball would have helped Sviantek. But then again, maybe it wasn't her choice to play during the day. Maybe broadcasters were like, you're playing on center court because... The Europeans don't want to stay up at two in the morning. It's so, okay. Then again, they will. I mean, I know you guys, you guys would. <laughs> that goes in the net from Noskova. 15 love. As we get a serve again from Shri on tech. The solid first game, but since having those break points in the second game, she hasn't been able to get any rhythm as Noskova smacks a return and Shri in the net. 15 all. Fifteen all. As uh, Shriantek serves again. So did see the back end of Noskova return goes into the forehand swinging volley and Shriantek gets it out. That is what I'm talking about when we talk panic. That was a panic shot. Fifteen thirty. <laughs> She came in and she just tried to smack that ball away for a winner. And yeah, there was a shot to hit. You know, there was a winner to hit, but she just smacked it wide. You know, trying to hit it too close to the lines. 15-30. And Shviontek serves again. A fault. Man, her first serve is not trash. First her first serve is not working. 15-30, second serve. Noskova. Looking for this double break. Serve. Into the back of Noskova. Return goes back in Sviantek. Noskova backhand. To the back of Sviantek. Into the back of Noskova on the stretch. Goes in the net. 30 all. Sviantek's got a hold here. 30 all. Sviantek. Needs first serves chat. Needs the first serves. 30 all. 
By the way, don't forget to like the video if you haven't already. We're almost at 300 likes. Thank you for that. With a serve out wide. That's a fault. Damn. Second serve. Second serve. Second serve into the forehand of Nozkova. Four next three on six. A winner inside out. That's better. 40 30. Women's tennis is shambles. You would never see Novak or Sinner serving this bad. I'm out of here. Sorry. Bye. 40-30. Uh, Shviontek serves again. To get on the board and just keep within the one break. First serve is a fault. Second serve. Second serve, Shriantek. I mean, the first serve. I mean, once she gets her first serve in, it's still not any better. Uh, anyways, return goes in the net from Noskova. That was a let off. Shriantek holds. 3 2. All right. Oh, God. When Eager is nervous, her serve is shite. Yeah. And look, she's obviously she's got to be nervous because Noskova is a great returner. Also, Steph is up 3 love against TRF already. Uh, oh, by the way, chat, does anyone have any bets on today? Any betters in chat? There's a couple of good matches to bet on. Um, you know, Rublev versus Lehechka is a good one. Obviously, the um, Sizi pass Tiafo match is a, is a good one. This one's a good one to bet on, I think. It's, you know, it could be could be an interesting one. Um, FAA versus Elkrez is a good one, too. As the saying goes, this ain't an airport, so you don't need to announce your departure. There you go. Yeah, look, if you don't like watching a certain player or watching certain type of tennis, you don't have to be here. I'm not going to beg you to stay. Oh, please. Please, give it a chance. Oh, please, Shriontek's really good. Please, stay. Please, don't leave. Yeah, you can do whatever you want. You're free. You can do whatever you want. You come back, watch Sinner later. It's all good. I, just, I, don't, get the, I don't get the comment, but it's all right. It's like that Ricky Gervais joke. Has anyone seen it where it's like, he, talk, he talks about, like, if you have a... Put a, put something in the town square. You put up a, a thing saying, free to guitar lessons. And he goes, I don't want guitar lessons. I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna call this guy and tell him that I don't want lessons. And you're like, you don't have to. You can just, like, you know, go, oh, no, nah, I'm not going to watch this. Bye. You don't have to announce it. I don't like women's tennis. Goodbye. Good day, sir. Noskova serves with a break. 3 2. As she serves. A fault. Second serve. You're just joining us. Shriantek, great first game. Second game almost got the break. Serve to the Fauna Shriantek. Return goes in the Fauna Noskova. Shriantek with the forehand again to the Fauna Noskova. Into the Fauna Shriantek. As Noskova hits a forehand cross court again to the Fauna Shriantek. And Shriantek hits a wide. 15 love. Shriantek's got a. Just construct these points as best she can. Steph, by the way, is just wrecking Tiafo. What the hell? City Pass is playing properly. Marriage and broke as well, by the way. Okay, return goes into the back of Noskova, back of Shviontek. Into the back of Noskova on the stretch, goes long. 15 all. 15 all. Noskova with the serve again. Winner of this plays either Keys or Putin Sever. Now, if you're going to base it on ranking it, she's going to play Madison Keys, the winner of this match. That's what it served. Don't see the back and Shriantek return goes in the back and slice of Noskova. Oh, what a drop shot again. She's done it again. Good pick up by Shriantek, though, and Noskova puts it away. She's hit like four drop shot, like ridiculous drop shots. 30 15. Noskova, that is. 30-15. Another ridiculous drop shot. 35th. 24 minutes played. As we get a fault. Second serve. 
Second serve in the corner. She feels a great re oh in the net. She went after it, which is a great idea. But she smacked it in the net, Sviantek. 40-15. It would have been a winner had it gone over. 40-15. Noskova for the 4-2 lead. As we return now from Sviantek, that goes wide. Sviantek just... Ah, doesn't throw the racket, but... Ah. All right, 4-2. Noskova. Sviantek just can't... Get in these rallies. Or at least feels the pressure of Noskova. Alright. Here we go. 4 2. Triantic serves again. Triantic with a serve. Into the four and Noskova return goes short. Into the four and Shviontek who hits a winner. That's better. Shviontek doesn't need to hit the ball a million miles an hour. She's better at placement. And Noskova has okay movement, but she's not a speed demon. So you don't have to hit the ball super hard. Shviontek is better off just, you know, taking it down a notch and trying to get, hit the ball in the corners instead of trying to hit the ball 100 miles an hour in the corners. First serve's a fault, second serve. Fifteen love, second serve, twenty-five minutes played. Second serve into the back end of Noskov is a double fault. Myself in there. And again, that's just that Noskov a return pressure. Fifteen all. You would be confident putting $200 on Eager to win 100 right now? I would not be confident putting $200 on anything. As we return now to the forehand of Shviontek, and Shviontek hits it out. 15.30. This is bad, chat. This is bad. This is bad. 15.30. It's bad if you're a Shviontek fan. It's great if you're not. If you're a Noskova fan, I mean, this is the best. It's the best. 15.30. Fifteen thirty. Uh, Shviontek serves. In the back of Noskova, good return. It's short. Shviontek hits it straight to Noskova, who goes down the line. That was a bad mistake. Shviontek again, just not playing smart. It was a great serve, a short return, and then Shviontek just smacked it straight at Noskova, who just went, thanks, I'll just go down the line. 15-40. Shviontek in huge trouble. 15-40, Noskova for the double break. Shviontek serves. Down the tee, the back end of Noskova. Return goes in the corner. Shviontek, who hits a winner. That's better. Just smart. 30-40. I put my house on City Pass. Why <laughs> did you do that? Oh, he's winning something. Congrats. All right, 30-40. 30-40. Noskova, still break point. Shviontek serves a fault. Second serve. Second serve. Nope. Shviontek looks nervous. Looks super nervous on this second serve. Second serve, the back end of Noskova. Return goes to Fortis. Shviontek, open court's good. Slice. From Noskova, Shviontek goes down the line. Noskova gets it. Shviontek puts it away, though. Again, that's the play. Just don't... You don't have to hit it one shot super hard. You can hit three shots at half pace and set the point up. Easier said than done, but still. That's what Shviontek needs to do. No point in trying to hit Noskova off the court. You're not, you're not Noskova, right? Deuce. Shviontek serves. She doesn't. She can't get that ball toss right. Serve it is a fault. Second serve. Second 
Second serve. Into the back end of Nozkova. Who hits it out on the return. Advantage for Yontek. And that ball was long. Advantage for Yontek to just hang around. Advantage for Yontek. Serve. Into the forehand of Noskova. Great return. Shviontek gets it. Noskova backhand. Getting the backhand of Shviontek who hits it long. Noskova just <clears throat> attacked that serve. Shviontek couldn't handle the heat. Back to Deuce. Steps up 5-1. Bloody hell. That's ridiculous. Then again, Monfils won the first set 6 love against her catch in 20 minutes. And then it was close. So at least in the second set it was close. All right, first serve is a let. All right, serve again. Give it a serve again, Shriantek just trying to hang in. As the first serve goes long, second serve. Second serve. By the way, Marijan won the first set against Vilch, 6-2. They're flying through their matches. Has it a back and return? Into the Fornish Fiontek. Fornan Noskova drop shot. It's not great. Fiontek gets it, puts it away. Advantage Fiontek. Advantage Fiontek. To take another game and just... Maybe Noskova gets a little nervous serving for the set, but then again, she did win a match against Shviontek, so I'm sure nerves aren't really a problem. Advantage Shviontek. Serve is a fault. Second serve. Second serve. Noskova steps inside the baseline. On the return with the backhand. Good return to the backhand. Shviontek. Noskova backhand is a winner. Jeez. From that, from the return onwards, you knew that it was gonna be. It was gonna be uh <laughs> dangerous. Deuce again. Alright, back to Deuce. Serving the forehand of Noskova. Backhand at Shviontek down the line. Noskova gets it with a slice. Shviontek backhand in the net. Advantage. Noskova for the double break. And to pretty much put this set in the books. Advantage Noskova. 32 minutes into this match. Advantage Noskova for the double break. Shviontek into the backhand of Noskova. Backhand of Shviontek into the backhand of Noskova. Again in the backhand of Shviontek. Noskova backhand. Cross court again in the backhand of Shviontek. Just going cross court with the backhands. Now Shviontek with the forehand inside out is a winner. Back to Deuce. Back to Deuce. What round is this? Third round. Who's playing after this? Carlos Alcaraz is playing after this. He's playing OG Aliassime. Great matchup. Really keen to see how that one plays. FAA's got a good record against uh, Alcaraz. And Alcaraz did look a little shaky in the first set last uh, t couple of nights ago. Backhand lob there from Noskova goes short into the Fornish Fiontek who smacks it away. Advantage Fiontek. Advantage, Shviontek. To take... To take this game. Advantage, Shviontek. Serve. Down the tee, the forehand, Noskova. Return goes in the forehand, Shviontek. Noskova, forehand. Is out. Shviontek holds. 
4-3. Not as good with the break, but it's only one break. Sviontek sticks around. Okay. How are we, chat? What's up? Will you answer my question? Can you answer my question, please? Tiafo gets one break back. 5-2 over there. Glad Carlos is playing next and not in the middle of the night for the UK. <laughs> yeah, his first match was on a little bit late, wasn't it? Bad game from Steph. Didn't make much first serves. Let big, let's go big foe, okay? No as Linear, we'll see you next time. Shvantec holds. Noskovic still got this break, though. Why does Noskovic's game bother Shvantec so much? Look, we, we all know that... Actually, chat. I want you to you guys to get involved. What type of game does Shviontek struggle against? What's the type of game that Shviontek struggles against? What's there's a certain player, certain type of player, and it's funny because Rafa struggled against this as well back in his heyday. What's the type of player? And don't I know we maybe name names, but also like what's the style, right? Power hitters, aggressive, yeah. Players that hit the ball hard. Yeah, big returners, big servers, players that can attack or serve, but also players that can go down the line and cross court without really much, much problems, right? So it's not so much hitting the ball hard down the middle. It's about going like down the line and keeping Shviontek off balance. And also that forces Shviontek to get aggressive herself, which is not really her style. She plays aggressive, but with control. When she's reckless, that doesn't help. So obviously Rabakina, Sabalenka, um, Ostapenko, Krajikova on a good day, Collins on a good day, and Noskova. She fits that mold exactly. So that's why we have this situation because Noskova is one of those players. She can hit the ball down the line at will. She has a good serve, great returns. So she just ticks all the boxes for the worst type of player for Sviontek, right? So that's why Noskova is giving her trouble. And also, getting the win in Australia, she has confidence too, right? Because, you know, you can you can play like that, like Goff, right? She can play like that. But she doesn't have any confidence because Shviontek's beaten her so many times. So you've got to have wins over Shviontek too to, to give yourself the confidence to know, hey, I can do that. And of course, because we're talking her up, chat, she is losing. Love 30, Shviontek, a chance to get back on serve. Of course it is, chat. This is how it works, chat. We talk, things change. Love 30. First serve is a fault from Noskova. Second serve. Yeah, unpredictable players like Penko. Exactly. And Noskova got a little bit of unpredictability about her. She double faults again. Why do I keep talking? There. Love 40. Triante, you get back on serve. This is a gift. This is a gift. Triante, to get back on serve. Serve the four on Triante. Four now from Noskova. To the back end, Shviontek. Noskova backhand. Again, the back end, Shviontek. In the back end, Noskova. And Shviontek hits a forehand. No, Noskova hits it out. That was so bad. That was so sloppy from Noskova. Such a sloppy match. A game, I should say. 4-4. Four, four. Such a slow. Hey, there's no cam curse. Shut up. Cam prediction working. What do you mean? All right. Shviontek holds, and then... Noskova throws in a sloppy game, and that, that was a gift. 4-4. Shviontek gets a little luck as she serves. A fault. Second serve. Second serve. Second serve in the forehand of Noskova, who slaps it in the net. And it's 15 love. Has the match not been a good quality? It, it would, it's not the best quality, no. Look at the double faults. The serving has been sus. Shviontek's been nervous. As Noskova was up 4-1. She was almost up 5-2 with a double break. Remember that. All right, first there's a fault in the net. Second serve. Second serve the backhand. And Oscar return goes long. 30 love. <clears throat> Pardon me. 
30 love. Triantic serves again. 30 love. Serving to the forehand of Noskova. Noskova hits it out. 40 love. Triantic for that lead. Since the first time, uh, since the first game of the match to take the lead. 40 love. Triantic serves again. A fault. Second serve. Second serve. Into the backhand of Noskova. Noskova in the net. Sviantek's won eight points in a row. And Noskova's kind of fallen off since having those break chances for 5-2. All right. Noskova. In trouble now serving to stay in the match or in the set. All right. Now, where are we watching from, chat? Where are we watching from? Because I know it's somewhere. I know people are from Poland. Where about? Actually, I want you to say, what city are you watching from? Because... If we've got like 100 people from Poland, we're probably all not from the same city. So what city are you from? Where are you watching from? Which city? Which city are you watching from? We've got uh, Krakow. We've got Warsaw. We've got Columbus, Ohio, Chicago, New York, Gainesville, Dublin. A lot of people from Warsaw in the chat. What's up? I've been there. I went there for three days, and it was in, it was it was it was snowing. Lovely. City Pass won the first at six three. By the way, uh, we got Miami, we got Bucharest, uh, Manila, Atlanta, Maine, Perth, Indianapolis, Nashville, uh, Hyderabad. We got Zamosk. I'm going to butcher some of these names. I'm so sorry. Uh, we've got Cape Town, a small village in Austria. Nice. I can just imagine a small village in Austria, like you're like in the mountains. There's like a mountain outside the backyard where you've got like snow on the mountain and you can ski from your house. Like that's what I imagine. <laughs> am, I right? am I right or am I wrong? Uh, Toronto, we've got uh, Texas. Uh, uh, Gdynia. We've got Marseille. We've got Minsk. Lagos, Delhi, uh, Honolulu, we've got Lidzini, Port Elizabeth, Edinburgh, we've got uh, Newtown, Zurich, Syracuse, Miami. All right, Shriontek, love 15, wins the first point of this Noskova game. She's won 13 of the last 15 points, Shriontek, as Noskova serves. Into the back of Sviantek return goes long. 15 all. We've got Brussels in the chat as well. Nice. New York City. All right, 15 all. Can Sviantek steal the set? That is the question. As we return now to the Fauna Noskova, but no. Sviantek hits it long. 30 15. Thirty fifteen. Thirty fifteen as Noskova serves again, but no, the ball's not good. Can you say something in Polish? Uh Chesht. Yazda. <laughs> they good? And it's forty fifteen. Unbelievable. Good serve from Good serve from uh, Noskova. Thirty, uh, forty, fifteen. Serve is a fault. Second serve. Second serve into the forehand of Sviantek. Forehand from Noskova into the back of Sviantek. Into the forehand of Noskova. Who hits it in the net? Forty thirty. Forty thirty. As we get a serve again from Noskova to level this first set. 
If you're just joining us, Nazca was up 4 2. Serve is a fault. Second serve. Second serve. There's a double fault. Get myself in there. All right, we get to deuce. All right. Noskova. In a bit of trouble now. She serves. Down the tee, the back of Shriantic. Return goes into the foreign Noskova, who hits it down the line, but long! Oh, no! Noskova from 40-15, throwing in all the errors. She's been terrible since being up 4-2 break point. And now she's down a set point. And Shriantek really hasn't had to do much. She's just got a few more serves in, but Noskova completely fell off. And she serves out wide a fault. Again, second serve. Second serve. Down the tee, the foreign Shriantek return to the back end of Noskova. Shriantek back in on the stretch. Noskova, drop shot is good. But Iga's there with the back up. Down the line! She steals the set, Shriantek. She was down for two break points. Noskova fell off. And Sviantek steals that set. 6-4. Big win for Sviantek. I mean, that's going to help Sviantek in the second with the confidence. But man, that was tough. Noskova was cruising. She was we're thinking 6-2. But then she just completely fell off. Double faults everywhere. Bad errors. I mean, that was a gift. Sviantec got, got a gift. She didn't steal the set. Yes, she did. She stole the set. Noskova was in control until she wasn't. And, it and Sviantec was just getting all the charity. There was a lot of charity involved. Sviantec held tough. You're right. But also, Noskova was a completely different player in the second half there. All right. Shviontek wins five games in a row to win that set. Okay. Not a win until you yeah, not a not a win until you win. True. Not a win until you win. That is tr very true. All right. Um Eager's hold of 4-2 was huge. Yeah. She goes down double break. We're talking you know, you got to come back to win. Reminds me of Bora yesterday. She had the serve for the set. Yeah, wasn't she up 4-love in the final set? I mean, yesterday was crazy. I, do, I totally forgot that Goff's match went to a tiebreak. Th because we had the Sabalenka match, which was epic. I forgot that Goff's match actually was went the distance too. I thought that was only like a 6-4. But yeah, we had two... Yesterday we had two final set tiebreak matches for the top uh, ladies. Crazy. Anyone know where Cam's from? I am from Australia. Melbourne. Australia. Um, Shriantek's not playing well. It's Noskova that started playing badly. Yeah, exactly. But the, I guess the, the positive for Shriantek was that she didn't, like her, le she kind of settled down. Like she was playing pretty crazy in the first couple of games. She was playing, hitting a lot of errors. Shriantek kind of stopped the errors and Noskova just went crazy with the errors. Like her, her game fell off. But Shriantek kind of just like almost just stopped giving away free points, which helps. But Shriantek didn't play much better than... The, she didn't play well, you know, overall. In that first set, it was Noskova. In the second half, just completely losing the uh, losing the momentum. But now I, I'm expecting Shriantek to put the foot down now. You know, first set was a bit shaky. Now she's got the first set in her pocket. She can just be like, all right, now I'm going to start playing properly. Shriantek's just going to practice some serves. All right. Iga started getting deep returns and Noskova couldn't handle it. Well, that true. I mean, that... She did start getting the returns deep as well, yeah. But Noskova was throwing in all kinds of errors. Like, she was not making those kind of mistakes to start the match. Shriantek was making all the mistakes and then they dried up. And then Noskova started playing, uh, playing terrible. Do you think you'll ever go see any matches live in person? Yeah, I've, I, 
I'm lucky that I live in the Australian Open, so I just go. I've been there a few times. I've been to Wimbledon too. That was cool. Great tournament, a great week coming up. Yeah, so competitive this uh, this tournament on the women's side. But what do we expect? I mean, it's it's that's how WTA is. There's no easy matches. What time is it here in Melbourne now? It's six a.m. So uh, yay! It's gonna be another hot day today. Today, chat. We've had three days of thirty-five or more. Which is, uh, I guess, 90, 95, 100. So, yeah, we've had, it's been a heat wave. <laughs> it's been terrible. Okay. 6 4. Shriantek takes the first set as Noskova returns to the back of Shriantek. Back in now, Noskova. Shriantek hits it out. Love 15. How far away from the Shine Open is your apartment? Uh, about an hour, I think. Yeah, about an hour on the train, 45 minutes. Something like that. Hey, thank you, Amala, Amala for the donations. Sorry, I missed that. Uh, the super chats aren't working on my end. But thank you. I'm from India. Uh, I'm from a small town in India, Tamar, Tamil, Tamil Nadu in Chennai. Nice. Thank you for the uh, donations. All right, 15 all. And Shriantek serves again. Now wide the forehand of Noskova. Into the back of Shriantek who hits a slice. Winner. 30-15. Is it expensive to live in Australia? I mean, it's expensive to live anywhere, isn't it? Um, it's just as expensive as anywhere else in the world. You know, it's... <laughs> Life is expensive. Okay. Life's expensive. Am I a beach person? Uh, I mean, I don't mind going to the beach. Would I? Do I actively want to go to the beach? No. <laughs> I'm happy to stay in my house. My parents live at the beach, so when I go see them, I, I, uh, when I see them, I go to the beach. Is that because the net from Shriantek? All right, thirty all. <laughs> Chennai's population is more than many countries. Yeah, it's probably more than Australia, right? Combined. All right, 30 all. Yeah, me, my dog loves the beach. Do I tan easily, Cam? No, I'm, I've got Irish heritage. I burn. We don't tan, we burn. 30 all. Is it a backhand return now? Goes on the forehand of Shviontek. Forehand now from Noskova Lob. Goes long and it's 40 30. 40 30. Cam's a vampire. Uh, 40-30. Ash Fiontek serves to get the first game of the second. Uh, serve. Into the four and Noskova. Return goes long. One love, Fiontek. She won six games in a row. Noskova in trouble. 6-4, one love. All right. Now, uh, Sidney Pass up a set and a break against Tiafo. Uh, Marajan about to do the same against Vilch. First set, by the way. Oh, God. Chat. Why do they do this, chat? WTA, this is a call to you. Give us unforced error and winner stats at 1000s. This, this is your biggest event. You don't, you can't, you don't do the slams. WTA, give us stats. We need stats. I don't care about the serving stats. I can see those. We want unforced errors. Winners, give us the stats. It's a 1,000 event. Give us the stats. As that goes deep into the court from Shriantek, but it's, oh, it's on the baseline. Noskova goes down the line in the back end of Shriantek. Back end of Noskova sliced into the back end of Shriantek. Great angle from Shriantek. Noskova gets it. But it's in the net. Love 15. Come on, WTA. Lift. Be better. You're supposed to be the premier product for the women's tennis. And you don't even you can't even give us an error win, winner stat. Come on. How are we gonna know what's going on if we don't know how many errors they hit? 
Everyone's going to think that set was really good. We don't know how many errors. Come on. Who's Cam talking to? I'm talking to the WTA. Come on, WTA. It's your best. It's the biggest tournament outside the slams. Come on. Come on. Love 15. First a default from Noskova. Second serve. Also, Marijan up a set and a break. Love 15. Triontek. Second serve, Noskova. Double fault. All break. right, love 30. Triontek is on a roll. Will Kalinskaya beat Paolini? I hope so. I think so. As we get a serve again from Noskova. Into the slice. Sviantek return goes into the fourness. Noskova. Pass from Sviantek. Too good. Love 40. Sviantek looks good now. To get the break here. Start of the second. All right. Tell us how you really feel, Cam. Chat. Am I wrong? Am I, am I wrong? Love 40. I mean, I'm, I can't be the only one here that's pissed off that or annoyed that the WTA can't give us stats as we have double fault. Break! Maybe they have, there have been no winners and errors. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe this has been a, a very strange match where it's just been no winners and errors. Okay, Noskova double faults twice in the game. And Triante goes up a break seven games in a row. Seven in a row. You're not alone, Cam? Okay, good. Your predictions tend to be wrong. I'll let that one slide. Uh, two love. First serves a fall from Shiantek. Second serve. Two love Shiantek. So don't see the back end of uh, Noskova. Back end of Shriantek and Noskova goes out with the back end. It's 15 love. Nearly one hour played in this one. 15 love. <laughs> Chad, my predictions aren't that bad. Fifteen love. That's a bit of fault. Second serve. Second serve. Serve in the back into Noskova. Return goes into the back of Sviantek. Noskova forehand into the forehand of Sviantek, who hits in the net 15 0. Fifteen zero. Sviantek has won. She was down 4 1 in the first. She's won seven in a row. 15 all. Sviantek serves again. Now, why the Fauna Noskova return is long and it's 30 15. <laughs> 35th? Kevin just said that for attention. I, I get it. Kevin just trying to you bait you try to bait me. I know what I see what's up. Kevin knows I get all my predictions, right? He's lying. He's lying. 3015. Yeah, I see I see what you're trying to do, Kevin. You're trying to bait me. Not gonna work today. I'm on fire. 3015! Serve out wide the backhand of Noskova. Backhand out from Sriante goes in the fauna, Noskova. To the back of Sviantek, who hits it wide. 30 all. all right, 30 all. Sviantek under a little pressure here. 30 all. Sviantek serves again. Out wide, the Fortnite Noskova return goes to back to Sviantek, who hits an open court winner. 40-30. To go three love up in the second. Four 
40-30. Shviontek for the three-love lead. There's a bit of four now from Shviontek into the open court. Noskova's there, though, with a forehand to the back of Shviontek. Cross court at the backhand of Noskova. Backhand to backhand as Shviontek gets done down the line to the forehand of Noskova. Shviontek goes down the line again into the backhand of Noskova to the back of Shviontek. Noskova just standing in the middle of the baseline. Shviontek overhits it, and we get to deuce. It was 4-2, not 4-1. Yeah, you're right. It was 4-2. My bad. So Shviontek's won six games in a row. Looking for seven. She was 4-2. She got broken at 3-2. All right, back to Deuce. We get back to Deuce. We're going to serve again. Now wide the forehand and Noskova. Return the back of Shviontek. Noskova on the stretch. Gets the slice. Back in swing volley though. Too good from Shviontek. Advantage, eager to get the three-love lead in the second. What a turnaround. All right. Three-love, if she can get the game. Also, Marijan has match point. Marijan versus Alcaraz. We know what that was like last year. We could be getting that again. But on hard courts this time, that'll be fun. Advantage, Friantek, serve. Demon the Fauna Noskova. Return goes in the Fauna Shviontek. Noskova. Cross court into the Fauna Shviontek. Again, the Fauna Noskova. Now Shviontek gets a forehand again to the Fauna Noskova. To the Fauna Shviontek. Noskova. Forehand. Hit the tape. Goes in. Shviontek with a forehand cross court to win up. Three love. Eager in control. Seven games in a row now. Three love in the second. Why is Eager losing most of the long rallies? Is she? I don't see that stat. I can't see the stat, so. She's winning now. Doesn't matter. Three love. Three zero. Um, all right. Now, straight after this chat, we do have Elkarez taking on Felix. FAA, which is going to be a really fun matchup. If you know the head-to-head, -head, you'll know why. Uh, so that's coming up straight after this, which I'm excited for. Then we do have uh, Sinner, the man of the moment, playing after that. So big, big day. Uh, and then later today, I don't know who we're going to watch, but we might... I've mean, got an idea. We might be able to watch some some other players, but um, yeah, the next match is uh, is probably match of the day. Oh, is it match of the day for the men? This is match of the day for the women on paper, but I'm not sure about the next... Uh, I, I don't know. Labor Day, Mother's Day in March. The world needs to coordinate holidays better. <laughs> same with uh, Daylight Savings. We need to all do it at the same time so we get we understand. Uh, bakeries are closed in Poland on Sunday, but Iga just realized that she's in America. She can open up a shop. Yeah. What about more women's tennis? Um, like I said, today, today's not really, a much of a women's tennis day. There's not too much going on. I mean, you've got some matches maybe later in the day, but this is the, really the only match on the WTA side that, that is, uh, I mean, there's so many men's matches on. And we haven't been watching ATP much, so we're gonna we're gonna jump on that for a while. Do you understand the real reason why WTA don't show you those stats? No, uh, I think it's just uh, either they don't have a statistician to like do the stats, or they're just lazy. Because it's crazy that a one thousand event doesn't show errors and winners. Like this is supposed to be the fifth slam for the WTA, right? So uh, you got to give us those stats. Those are the important stats. They're, they're the basic stats, right? On the ATP, we're going to see that, those stats every day. So WTA need to need to do that. Love fifteen. I mean the the, the generic stats of uh, of tennis, right? Are all these, you know, aces, double faults, first serve percentage, uh, you know, points won on serve, break points, and then winners and errors. Like that, that's that's the that's the list of stats that, you know, the, the average fan wants to see. They've got to be better. Love 30. Shviante going for the double break here. ATP 250s have been showing errors and winners. Yeah. Is it a forehand now from Shviante? Into the forehand of Noskova, but Shviante with the volley. Noskova with the pass goes wide. Love 40. 
Sviantek running away now. Yeah, Nosca with seven double faults. And most of those have been in the last seven games where she's been uh, falling apart. Love 40. Sviantek for that double break. Noskova serves out wide the back of Sviantek. Back in and Noskova goes in. Lovely winner. Love 15-40. Uh, Fifteen forty. By the way, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. So much more tennis to go on uh, for the rest of the weeks. We've watched so much tennis already this week. It feels like we've watched... I mean, yesterday alone was such an epic day. With uh, Sabalenka, Djokovic playing three sets. Goff playing three sets. I mean, that was just... And then there was other matches too that we missed. It's been a crazy couple of, uh, couple of days to start this tournament. All the upsets on the women's side. It's been crazy. 15-40. Second serve the back of Sviantek. Return goes out. And it's 30-40. 30-40. Almost 4,000 people in the house as well. So thank you for that. Thank you everybody for tuning in. Probably the biggest match of the tournament, I would say. In fact, it is. Biggest match of the tournament so far. So thank you for that. 30-40, still break point here to get the double break. Sviantek in the second. Serve in the back of Sviantek. Return goes in the front of Noskova. Down the line's good. Sviantek recovers with the backhand into the backhand of Noskova. Again to the back of Sviantek. Noskova on the stretch. Goes in. Sviantek comes in and puts it away. Okay. Okay. Sviantek, four love in the second. She's won eight games in a row. The world number one is playing. All right, step aside. Step aside. Iga is back. Full love in the second. She is wrecking Noskova now. Full love. And she serves. The bakery is open. All right, here we go again. Fiance with a serve. Fiontek with a serve. Into the back end of Noskova. Return the back of Fiontek. Noskova. Oh, Iga hits the line. I thought Noskova was going to win that point. Fiontek hit the baseline. 15, uh, 15 love. Sweet revenge. That's it. All right, 15 love. As we had a fault from Sviantek. Second serve. Second serve. Into the backhand of Noskova. Good return. Sviantek gets it with the backhand into the slice of Noskova. Again, in the back of Sviantek. Noskova, backhand. Down the line. Sviantek gets it on the stretch. But hits it long. 15 all. 15 all. Steph's up 6-3-3-2, is he? Yeah. He's up a set and a break. Marajan again trying to win the match against Vilch. But I'm claiming that one, Chad. I said Vilch would do good as a quality, and he made the third round, so I'm taking it. You can't take that one from me. That's, uh, that's a point to me. It's a point. To, we're, it's to us, Chad, because we're all on the same page. Right? We're all in this together. My predictions are your predictions. Anyway, it's 30 15. <laughs> it's a group effort, but I just make the predictions, all right? It's, but we're, it's a team effort. All right, 30 15. Shriantek to get to five love here. As we get a serve. Now, why does a fault from Shriantek? Second serve. They can take everything, but they can't take your predictions. <laughs> exactly. As it is served now, the back end of Noskova. Noskova hits it out. 40 15. 40 15. Now, the couple of my predictions went down the toilet, but that's because we're back and it pulled out, and that ruined everything. If she didn't withdraw, Chad, I would be a, I would be a genius. 
Uh, 40-15. 7 to 49. Nice cover. Return goes wide. It's 5 love Shviantek. Too easy. Yeah, so I'm looking at my predictions here. So I said Goff's going to do better than Rabakina. Win. I said the best qualities are going to be Pera and Vilch. To be honest, we've had no good qualities on the women's side. So, I mean, Chad, I know you're not going to give it to me because, you know, why would you? But no qualifiers got through the second round. So is that a... Do I... Chad, I'm going to ask you. I mean, she was one of the best qualities. The best quality was second round. I mean, Potoroska Day, that was a lucky loser battle. I mean, that's a little bit of a cop-out to be like, oh, well, the lucky loser got through, but that's because they got lucky. They didn't qualify. That doesn't count. Townsend, second round. Shremkova, second round. Habino, second round. Baptist, second round. Pera, second round. No one, no qualities made it past the second round, but I picked Pera. Come on, I get that, right? That's a win. You can get credit. Okay, one person. Uh, Arcane, you, okay. Um, I like, you're my favorite. If they all in the second round, there is no best. But if you watch the video, I say the best of the qualities. So who's going to be, I, I said Pera is going to be the best quality. It counts. Now, chat, don't feel obliged to agree. Don't think that, you know, you have to. But also, you know, what you want. Yeah. You get credit for Vilch? Well, yeah, of course I do. I'm not, you're not taking that from me. <laughs> We're not talking about Vilch. He won. He's number, he, he made the third round. You know, no, that's, not, that's not a question here. I'm talking about the women's side. <laughs> Technically, it counts. All right, we'll see. Maybe half a point. Maybe half a point because she didn't make the third round, but she was one of the better qualities. And there was no good qualities. So, anyways, back to the match. Love 15, Shviontek. Maybe we'll talk about it later in the week, all right, chat? We'll talk about it later. Maybe a half point. <laughs> Anyways, return goes in the form of Nozkova. Serving to stay in the match here. As with a forehand down the line at the back of Shviontek. Volley from Nozkova. is right to Shviontek's forehand and puts it away. Love 30. Love 30. Stretch Armstrong. <laughs> Get stuff. My unseeded players just shit themselves. I mean, Pliskova, pff, terrible. Menzik played played a tough match against Shelton, so I, you know that was a tough one. I said Jabir was going to lose. I said Rublev's going to lose. He might lose to Lehechka today. Hoping uh, yeah. he's hoping for my predictions. I've still got a lot of predictions up up for grabs. Anyways, 30, uh, 15, 30, That goes wide from Nozkova. Match points for Yontek. To just wreck Noskova and restore order. 15-40. Served in teeth is a fault. By the way, remember, Shviontek was down 4-2 first set. She's about to win 10 games in a row. Crazy chat. Didn't she do that against um, Collins? Second serve, the back end of Shviontek. Good return, the back end of Noskova. Noskova in the net. Sweet, sweet revenge for Iga. She wrecked her, chat. She wrecked her. And it didn't look like that was going to happen about an hour ago. An hour ago, it was 4-2, nearly 5-2. And then Nozgiva fell off, and Shviontek took control. And Iga Shviontek is into the third round. That was... That was easy. I mean, that was eager. Eager, easy. That's what that was. GG's. Shviontek did the same to Collins. And if you don't think Shviontek's going to win this damn thing, then I don't know what's going on. Because she is, I mean, yeah, shaky start, but also she had a shaky start against Collins too, and look what happened. This court is too slow for these big hitters. By the way, winner of this match, uh, sorry, the winner of Putin Seba and Keys will take on Shviontek. So Keys Shviontek doesn't get any easier. So it could be a tough one in that fourth round, but... Shviontek's draw looks great. I mean, you've got Hadaj Maya, who's a threat. Uh, Kalinskaya, who's a threat. Maybe Kudamatova on a good day. Keys on a good day. But Shviontek's draw, now that big names like Rabakina have pulled out, I mean, Jabir, Ostapenko's gone. I mean, 
Shviontek's draw now seems to open up a little bit better. Now, if you are leaving, don't forget to sub on the way out. We do have um, Elkares taking on FAA. Coming up next, that is going to be a banger. Um, if you know the, uh, if you know why, you know why. By the way, City Pass uh, is about to do the job, but um, yeah, great work from Eager after that uh, after that slow start at four two down. All right, Eager shook uh, her way to victory. Yeah, and hey, look again. Let's you know, let's not, not get it twisted. Noskova did fall off once she was up four two. She was up four two. She didn't win that 5-2 game to get to 5-2, which would have probably wrapped up the set. And then uh, since that point, I mean, she kind of lost lost her groove. And then the second set was all Sviantek. I mean, you know, you can't say that Noskova was playing bad in the second. It was just Sviantek running away. But the first set, Noskova gave gave it back to Sviantek, and Sviantek went, all right, fine. If you don't want to win this, I will. Uh, not bad for an eager match. Yeah. Nobody's leaving. Good. Don't, don't leave. Next match is going to be fun. Uh, Demon's playing Bublik as well pretty soon. Uh, pretty soon as well, yeah. Uh, I think Sinner and Sabalenka win it all. Okay. Sabalenka got lucky yesterday. Yeah, there was a bit of fortune in that one for sure. I mean, 40 love. How do you... You know, how do you... How do you not... Uh, how do you win from 40 love... <laughs> 41... 40 love match points, right? I mean, it was a crazy, crazy, um, crazy score. What a match it was, though. Um, we actually have about 30 minutes until we have to watch um, Elkrest, so we don't have to go anywhere just yet. We've got some time, chat. Elkrest doesn't start for a long time. I, I guess they forgot Shviante can win in one hour. Eager versus Emma in the final. Emma's got to beat Sabalenka. That's a huge, huge win. If she can get it. Sabalenka was back against the wall yesterday. Yeah, she was. Yeah, Sabalenka saved four match points. Did he heal Gil's brilliant analysis of Demon on the latest video? No, I haven't watched. I haven't been able to watch anything. Unfortunately. I'll have to check it out. Uh, Shriantic had somewhere to be. Yeah. <laughs> she had an extra 30 minutes up her sleeve. She could have been, you know, could have had an extra 30 minutes to go, you know. Um, big foe and pass match. Okay. Man, you better shut your fuck up, okay? And then you hit left and you don't say sorry, you think you're a good kid? I told you to stop and you kept doing like this to the team. It's a bullshit Russian, you think this is normal? Anonymous, thank you for the $8, appreciate that. Um, so Diminor and Bublik are about to start. Tiafo and City Pass. Steph up is setting a break, but big foe... Fighting back. Um, Eager and the demon and, and the dream team do it again. Yeah, Vondi dropped off. Uh, Vondi had to withdraw, so that you know, she was she played okay in her first round, but she has dropped off a little bit in the last six months. What happened to Tiafo? Hasn't done anything since the U.S. Open semis. That's not true. He did make it to the semis of this tournament last year. Is the bakery finished re renovations? No, no, it hasn't. Not yet. Sorry, it's not not ready yet. Um, Vilch lost badly. Surprised by that. Thought it'd be three sets. Yeah, I mean Marajan must have been on fire. Um. Glad she humbled her Australian Open Conqueror. Yeah, that was a great win. I mean, both that and the and the Collins win back to back. The way that she won as well. It's not so much that she beat them both. It's that she beat them both easily. Like that's the full redemption there. What tournament is after Miami? Yeah, Miami is after this. Marriage and Elkrez will be fire though. Yeah, but FAA FAA is not to be not not to be uh, overlooked. It's nice when. Uh, for eager against hard hitting players, yeah, for sure. So that she'll play keys or uh, putting seven. Now, if she does play keys, have they played recently? I know that they played a couple years ago, and it was keys who got the win. But have they played recently? Have they played since then? I think they have, right? Of course, the WTA website's broken. 
God, chat. And they wonder why, you know, they wonder why. Can the ATP just absorb the WTA so we can just get shit sorted? Like, this is crazy. I would love to just look up the head-to-head. -head. Like, can we, can we, come on. WTA, this is, come on. Come on, what are we doing? What are we doing? All right, so they played in Cincinnati two years ago. I haven't played since Cincinnati, but they did play in Indian Wells two years ago. Here, it was one and love. So Shviontek on this court smoked keys. Now, since he's a fast court, right? So Indian Wells and Cincinnati, two different types of courts. Yeah, Indian Wells, yeah, bagel and breadstick uh, keys here, yeah. Uh, glad to see Osaka winning, yeah. That was a great win yesterday for Osaka. Road looks good for Eager until Kalinskaya. Yeah. And Kalinskaya is going to be a tough one in that second, uh, in that uh, semi-final potentially. Not too bad. Anonymous. Hey, Cam. Has there been any viewership records in 2024? Hey, thank you, Anonymous, for the two. Um, for the channel? I'm assuming you mean for the channel. Um, let me check. Um, I don't think, I mean, uh, actually, no, I think for the Australian Open, we might have had a, no, Doha, we had a record attendance in Doha, uh, the most, in the Doha final, that was a, that was a record, um, but no, we, uh, and also in Brisbane at the start of the year. And Rotterdam as well. Rotterdam final was a was a, bit, a biggest final we've ever watched in Rotterdam. But uh, other than that, not yet. We haven't broken any records yet. Not yet. But we did. I think actually, I think the uh, the Sinner Medvedev final was the f fifth biggest stream of all time. I mean, did that count? <laughs> kind of. That's cool. Australian Open twenty twenty two was way was way too crazy. Yeah, sixth, sixth biggest stream of all time was uh, the final of Australia, but um, it was five sets. Of course, yeah, you, of course it was. It had to be. If it wasn't, it would be a bit depressing. But yeah, so a couple of like, it's been a it's been a big start to the year for sure. Sabalenka Stern should have broken records. Um, let me check the. I don't know what the Indian Wells records are. Hang on. Um, Indian Wells, Nadal Alcaraz 2022 semi-final was at the biggest stream here. And on the women's side, Sabalenka were back in a final last year. Um, look, we could, if we get another sabalenka Sviantec final, we'd probably be able to uh, nudge that. But hey, all we're going to do is watch tennis and see what happens. And if we break records, that's just a bonus. And you better shut your fuck up, okay? And then you hit left and you don't say sorry, you think you're a good kid? And don't have to stop and you kept doing like this to the team. It's a bullshit Russian, you think this is normal? Joe! Iga, only Ostapenko have by you unbeaten left. Yeah. Yeah, Ostapenko is the only one that has uh, has Iga, Iga beat, right? Thank you for the donation. Well, I thank you, Rowdy, for the five. Again, super chats aren't working. I don't know why super chats aren't working. Donations are working through the through the link in the description, but I don't know why super chats aren't working. But I can read them out. Uh, thank you, Ready for the five. Eager has bageled forty nine bagels since twenty twenty two, and no other player has even half that total. That is insane. That is a stat. Rowdy coming in with the stats. That's a huge stat. The Eager stats for Rowdy. Uh, maybe because it was only second rounds. What, this one or the, this match? Yeah. Yeah, if we get to the finals, then uh, we'll see what happens. Steph, by the way, is two points away from a dub. Monte Carlo has the best landscape. Fair enough. How is Rebecca's... Who? Rebecca's what going? You lost me. You lost me. Match point Steph, by the way. Uh, Goff... Pagula just beat Ken and Matic Sands. Oh, that's a good win. They're, they're a tough doubles team. Indian Wells is probably one of the 
be most beautiful Masters 1000s. Yeah, I'm excited to uh, to hopefully go one day. Fingers crossed. As in Sabalenka's match didn't break records because it was only second round. Oh yeah, true, true. Also, you know, times. You know, there's a lot of things that factor into those kind of things, which is why I'm not too stressed about them. Like when they happen, when we like whenever we break records, it's like oh sweet, you know, bonus. But if we get a great match, I mean that's more fun, you know. As long as the matches are epic, I'm uh, I'm all for it. Why do they postpone the matches? At least one court is free. Because I guess they just wanted to stagger the matches a little bit. I don't know. It's weird that like for the next 30 minutes, uh, center court is open and there's no one playing until the top of the hour. Steph wins. Straight sets. That was a beatdown. City pass just wrecked Tiafo. I did, and I was thinking that was going to be match of the day. That was far from it. That was not match of the day. That was a flop. <laughs> that was a boring flop. Demon Bublik has started. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on for that one as well. Ostapenko was eliminated already. Yeah, Penko's gone. Uh, how's Rebecca on most aces going? John. Smart ass. Um... Sure that Iga is raring to play Penko. Well, Penko's not playing, so Penko's out, so she doesn't have to play it. I want to see her play Penko on the clay, though. That's what I want to see. I don't want to see her play on hard courts. We've seen that five times. I want to see them play on clay. Because clay is Iga's... That's her home ground. That's her home surface. That is her her house. So I want to see that happen. Uh, uh, I was going to say, all right, Sviantec. I don't know who that is. Um, or who, <laughs> Sviantec's in the chat, apparently. All right, chat, I'm going to send you over the next one. I'm going to watch... Uh, this very interesting match between FAA and Elkrez. Now, you might be like, Cam, why is it so interesting? Well, you're just going to have to wait and see. But I'm going to be uh, chucking you over there. So jump over there. Talk amongst yourselves. I'll be back in about five minutes to, uh, to do that one. But uh, great win. Redemption, revenge, whatever you want to call it. Shriontek got it. 6-4, 6 love against her Australian Open conqueror. Whoever said that in the chat, I... I like it. Uh, Linda Noskova, she wins 10 games in a row to win too. She was down 4-2, didn't lose a game after that. And she is into the third, into the fourth round of Indian Wells again. And she's made the semifinal and won the title the last couple of years. So she loves playing here. She plays either Keys or Putin Seba. That's happening right now. We'll keep an eye on that. But uh, if we're not going to see you for the next one, we'll see you next time for the Sviantec fourth round. But uh, great win. Great revenge from Ego. Let's go. Yazda. Yazda. Yazda.